No matter which action camera you have, chances are you're having to use the three-prong mount and the thumb screw originally made popular by GoPro. While this mount is super secure, it can be a real hassle and a time suck to deal with the thumb screw all the time. Well, I have a solution for you. A quick release mount is an essential action camera accessory that will help you swap mounts faster. And I have four options to share with you, including the last two, which are my personal favorites. Before I get started, let me clarify that all of these mounts that I'm gonna mention are compatible with every action camera that uses the GoPro feet such as the brand new GoPro Hero 11, the DJI Osmo Action 3, the Insta360 ONE RS. You can use these mounts with all those cameras. And you can even use it with a camera such as the Insta360 X3, which has a quarter inch tripod thread on the bottom, not the GoPro feet. You can use this little adapter here to add the GoPro feet to this kind of camera. I'll also have all the products linked in the description below, so check that out if you want to find out more about any of these products. The first contender is the classic GoPro buckle, which comes with every single new GoPro camera by default. But you can actually use this buckle with any action camera as long as they use the GoPro feet. The GoPro buckle is great because it's simple and there are a lot of existing grips, tripods, and other mounts to use with the buckle, such as the GoPro 3-way, the jaws, and the chest strap. However, the GoPro buckle is pretty specific to GoPro products only, meaning that you largely have to buy GoPro branded grips and tripods and mounts in order to use the buckle. Now this is great if you've already bought into the GoPro system and you've got a lot of these mounts already, and even better if you're a GoPro subscriber because that way you get a discount on buying these GoPro accessories. But if you're just getting started with action camera accessories, then this can be a really pricey system to buy into. And even though the GoPro buckle is really strong, it is largely made out of plastic, so that might bother some of you if you are really rough on your GoPro. The next quick release system we have is called snap mounts. Snap mounts use some of the strongest magnets in the world, and they are 10 times stronger than traditional ceramic magnets. When these come into contact with another piece of metal, these mounts are stuck on strong. And they're also waterproof up to 10 meters, so you can use them underwater. Now the basic snap mount package comes with the mount, a quick release back plate, an aluminum thumb screw, which is a lot stronger than the standard plastic GoPro thumb screw, and also a lanyard to help you wear the camera around your neck to get that chest mount POV perspective but I mainly use snap mounts whenever I wanna mount my GoPro to the car. On the hood of the car, the car door, or even just above the windshield, these mounts make my GoPro rock solid. And we've driven at up to 80 miles an hour and the camera doesn't even budge. Just make sure that you use the matte accessory to protect the paint on your car. Now, if you buy a few of these snap mounts and attach them to the mounts that you use the most often, then it's a super fast way to quickly and securely change your action camera from mount to mount. However, because they're super heavy duty, snap mounts are pretty heavy in comparison to the other quick releases in this video, coming in at 198 grams. They're also pretty pricey. The basic package costs 40 US dollars and the pro package is $70. So if you buy a few of these mounts, it can really add up. You should also note that there's a special version of the snap mount to fit the media mod because the regular snap mounts aren't quite big enough to support the media mod. Now the third quick release option is the Ulanzi Claw, which if you've seen any of my latest videos, then you'll notice that it's the one that I've been using the most lately. It's an aluminum mount that is still small and lightweight, weighing only 50 grams, and it's made out of two pieces. There's the quarter inch tripod thread base that attaches to any standard quarter inch tripod mount and also a quarter inch tripod screw plate that connects to the bottom of your camera. Now the quarter inch tripod thread is universal for all regular cameras and mounts, but it's not the standard three prong GoPro mount. So what you'll have to do is get a GoPro to quarter inch adapter so you can easily attach this to any action camera mount. Now to attach the claw, just take the base plate and push it into the base until you hear a snap. And then it's really secure. There's also this red lever here so you can just slide it to the side to lock it into place. And then this thing isn't going anywhere. It is so strong. Now to detach it, you wanna slide this lock to unlock it and then use your two fingers to push the two buttons on the side and the base plate comes right off. 
Now, besides being super secure and easy to use, the Ulanzi Claw is also pretty affordable at 27 US dollars for a single unit. And the Ulanzi also has a whole system built around these accessories using the claw quick release, including a tripod ball head and my favorite accessory, which is the Ulanzi Claw backpack clip, which is modeled after the very popular Peak Design capture clip. Now I like this because it's super secure and a lightweight quick release mount that goes on my backpack strap so I can easily go from having a POV shoulder mount to a hand grip. The main downside to the Alonzi Claw is that it uses a unique base plate. It's not a standard Arca Swiss tripod plate that you find on most other backpack clips. So you have to buy into the whole Ulanzi Claw system to take full advantage of this quick release. But again, they're not super expensive, so it's not a huge drain on your wallet. And with that said, even though Arca Swiss plates are more universal, they typically don't have quick release base plates, so they're not quite as efficient to use as the Claw. Anyway, while this style of backpack clip can work with action cameras, it's actually made to support bigger cameras. And there are a lot of clips out there, from the Peak Design clip to the Ulanzi clip, and also the Fall Cam clip by Ulanzi and the PGY Tech Beetle clip. So I'll be doing a totally separate video comparing all of these quick release camera systems. So stay tuned for that video. So now we get to the last action camera quick release, which is my all time favorite the Ulanzi GP4 Magnetic Quick Release. Now we've actually been using this quick release for the last couple of years because it's super small and lightweight, smaller than the claw even, and it's pretty cheap. For $12, you get the base plate with the three-prong GoPro mount to attach to your camera and a magnetic base that can either be another three-prong GoPro mount to attach to grips that use that system or a base with a quarter-inch tripod hole, which is more universal and found on more third-party grips. Now, because it's so lightweight, it is entirely made out of plastic aside from the little magnetic piece, so it's not as heavy-duty as the Ulanzi Claw or the Snap Mount. But again, we've been using this quick release for several years, and it's taken quite a beating. We've been sticking it out the window of our car when we're driving up to 60 miles an hour, and you know, going hiking with it, doing quite a bit of action. And you can't even tell that we've been using these quick releases super hard because they don't have any dents, any scratches, there's no signs of damage on them. So we mainly use these quick releases to swap between our most used vlogging grips, such as this mini tripod by PGY Tech and the Insta360 Invisible Selfie Stick. I've also tried to use this quick release system on my shoulder mount, like on my PGY Tech Beetle Clip on my backpack, but notice how the camera is at a bit of an angle. I can't quite get it straight because of the design, and so this is something I don't have a problem with whenever I'm using the Ulanzi Claw backpack clip, so that's why I prefer to use the Claw as my backpack Backpack clip quick release. So these are four action camera quick releases for your consideration. There are pros and cons to all of them, so which one is best really depends on your budget and how exactly you plan to use your action camera. But as a quick summary, we respect the GoPro buckle as the original action camera quick release, but we honestly never use it. Snap mounts we use primarily whenever we want to mount a camera on the outside of our car, and the Ulanzi Claw is the best for the backpack clip function. And the Ulanzi GP4 Magnetic Quick Release is our everyday mounting solution that we use whenever we're using our vlogging tripods and standard hand grips. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There are links in the description below to all of the products that I mentioned, and I will be doing a quick follow-up video on the best quick release backpack clips coming up soon, so stay tuned for that video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below with your favorite quick release system for your action camera, and any questions that you might have, and I will see you in the next video.